A tax allocation district project begins with the creation of a well-defined project area. The specific geographic area is selected based on a number of criteria, prominently to include properties that are dilapidated or significantly underutilized. It's important to remember, though, that not every property within the district is run down. The TAD district is an area where local government officials believe there is an opportunity to bring new commerce, new jobs, and over the long term, increase the value of properties which would generate additional property taxes and spread the tax base out. Once a specific area is chosen, a developer will hopefully come forward with an actual project inside the tax district. Wouldn't it be great to see the old O'Neill manufacturing site cleaned up and put back on the tax rolls in North Rome? A developer could come forward with plans for some of the vacant properties within a tax district. Up to this point, all of the TAD projects in Rome have actually been initiated by developers with specific projects in mind. At this time, though, city leaders have decided to take a proactive step with the creation of tax allocation districts up the Martha Berry Boulevard corridor and in North Rome. The idea is to stimulate development in underserved sections of the city, which would benefit from new development that could bring new jobs and enhance the physical attractiveness of our community. The creation of a TAD does not mean that anyone's property has to be sold or redeveloped unless the owner wants to. It doesn't mean that your taxes will go up unless the property is improved and its value goes up. In our next segment, we'll talk about how the financing of projects actually works.